Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Not Fashion Hub, the best fashion channel in the world. Yes, yeah, so today quickly we are going to learn how to sew a trouser, how to sew a pant for a child. Um, yes, I had done some videos where I showed us how to cut a trouser for a child. I also went ahead and did another video that I showed us how to cut the top for a child. So today we are going to learn how to join, you know, the trouser for a child. Basically, children between the years of um, um, less than two, one and a half below, you know, they don't really need pocket on the senator wears. Mostly their trousers, okay? It's from the ages of, you know, two and a half and above where they start, you know, knowing what dressing is, pocketing their hands are really... A pocket is needed on that on that walk. So today, quickly without wasting time, we are going to learn how to join this trouser for a child. Okay, so if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so that whenever I drop my videos, you will be notified. So for children, because um for infants, yeah, let me not say children for infants, like I said, between ages of you know, you know zero to uh, one and a half, they don't really need you know one and a half two it's not really the pocket on the on the trousers so you join easily without even putting pocket and that makes it a lot more easier for you so i'm going to show us how to join quickly without wasting time so these are our front pieces this and these are our two front pieces and um these are our two back pieces so how do we join this since we don't need to put pockets on this trouser Quickly, we will join the back center line. Join the back center line and the front center line. So, this is our back piece of the shower. So, we'll join this back center line. So, like I said before, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, Please hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so that whenever I drop my videos, you will be notified. Right? So I just joined this using a half inch allowance. That's what I used to join it a half inch allowance. And I'm going to do that on the front piece as well. So this is my front piece. I'm still going to join it using half inch allowance. All right, I'm sewing on the bad side. This is the bad side, this is the bad side. The good sides are facing each other while the bad sides are facing outwards. Right, so now we are done with joining the center line for both the back and the front piece. So we'll move straight to now joining the front piece and the back piece together. Right, so this is my front piece right here. This is my back piece. So I'm going to join the front piece and the back piece together okay can you see this is a good side the good side of the front piece the good side of the back piece i'm placing them facing each other and then i'll sew by the side using still half inch allowance hope it's clear enough now there's something very important i want to show us at the point of hemming this trouser so please don't fold everything okay because you might miss out so at the point of folding this trouser is something very important that i would love to show you folding or hemming rather yeah hemming so we have sewn this line this side we will still do the same to this second side we we'll also join this one using a half inch allowance And there's a very easy method to attach to attach the waist 
I'm going to show you, so just stay with me. I'll show you a very easy method of attaching the waist. So for, for this kind of for this kind of trouser, before hemming down, you attach the waist. I'll show you why, and I'll tell you why. Before folding it, before hemming the the, 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 the the legs, you attach the waist first before taking the full length of the trouser. So at this point, the next thing we are supposed to do is to what? Is to attach our waist. So the waist of this baby, the waist of this baby is 20. That's the waist of this baby. All right. So if you look, the waist of the baby is 20. If you look, we are having 20. 22 23 and a half here all right but the waist of the baby is 20 so this is the elastic we are putting in the in the, in the waist of this trouser so since the waist is 20 i've cut the elastic to be just 15 and a half just 15 sorry i've cut the elastic to be just 13 all right but it will expand. Mind you, that 20 is with allowance. The exact waist of that baby is 18. But I gave 20 so that it will be a bit um, free. So 18 is the exact waist of that baby. So, but I'm using 13 here. This is 12. 6, at 6 is 12. This is, at this is 13. But when it stretches, it stretches, it will give me 18. All right. So you make sure when you're cutting your rubber, you can you reduce up to like 4 5 inches from the normal waist size of the trouser so the waist is 18 and i'm using 13 here that's a difference of five inches because this rubber stretches all right so if you don't give it um if you don't reduce it much after one or two usage the baby will, the trouser will become too the waist will become too loose all right so the next thing i'm going to do is to join this waist this rubber so i'm not joining it like this i'm joining it this way all right it's better so you keep it like this, you run a stitch in the middle. You will make the stitch, you double the stitch so that the line will not easily lose. Alright, very important. So the next thing we are going to do is to cut our waist, alright? Our waistband. Now I've already cut the waistband, I will show you, it's very simple. This is the waistband I have cut for this trouser, okay? You can see the trouser. One thing you must ensure to do is that this waistband should be exact side with this trouser, the waist of this trouser, unlike that rubber. For the waistband, because we are putting that waistband inside this, this, um, this, this, we are putting this elastic inside this waistband, okay? So the waistband should be the same size with the original waist of this trouser. So you see, we have to make it the same size. Can you see that? Can you see? It's the same size. So I will have to sew at this point. Yes. And to have something exactly with that trouser. So that with that waist of the trouser so that I can be able to attach to it. So I have sewn this. Alright. And this is exactly with what we have here now all right this is exactly okay so the next thing for us to do now is to put our elastic inside is exactly so the next thing for us to do now is to put our elastic inside and attach it to this way so how are we going to put our elastic inside this is the waist we are going to open it this way you see i'm going to open it this way and then we are going to carry this elastic put in here all right we we'll open it like this and then we we'll do what we we'll close it can you see this then we we'll run a stitch here around to hold the elastic in the waistband So that's what I'm going to do. So, 
sew it round to hold the elastic in the waistband. So after putting the elastic in the waistband, we are almost done. Yes, you see. After sewing round, putting the elastic in the waistband, the next thing we are going to do now is to attach this waist. Can you see? We've had our waistband. This is our waist. You see? Is that how our waistband is looking? We we'll now attach it to the waist of this trouser. Okay. Now, if we look very well, there's a joining here. All right. So I'm going to keep it to match with the joining for the front piece. All right. I'll fold this this way. Then I will start from here and I will sew around. So just watch. So this is quite simple. So I'm going to sew this all the way around. And when I'm done, our trouser is set. All we need to do will be to hem it down. So we have we're almost at the point where we started. See? So we have sewn and gotten to the point where we started sewing. And at this point, we are done attaching elastic to this waist. Of course, we are going to hem this waist so that all these threads falling out will not be here again. But you can see is the waist of our trouser you see see how it's taking shape this is the waist of our trouser all right so we are going to we are going to weave this allowance here all right so what next are we going to do we are going to hem this trouser down to assume the length of the trouser before we finally come to the machine we're going to press the iron and fold it to the exact length of the trouser before we come to the machine and we'll finish it up. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the, 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 the like button. If you can share, I would really appreciate. So I have pressed the trouser and um, folded it using the exact length of the trouser. So the next thing for us to do now is to hem it right here before we do the final joining by the size of the trousers. So this on the in line if you not very well i only sew the out seam of the trouser and i left the in seam okay the in seam the in line all right just the side lines i sew so that after i'm done with this hemming i can now sew the in lines and that is for a reason you know for children's trouser it is quite um the shape is not that straight it is tinier as it goes down so if you if you sew everything before trying to hem it discover that the trouser might um fold at the end okay to try to fold all right so for that reason you ensure that you hem it before matching it so now that we are done hemming the two legs we can now comfortably you know so the in seam line okay the in okay not in seam the inner line of the trouser you know trouser has an in line and an out line the out line is the or the out seam is the one by the side where the pocket comes and the in the in line is this one okay as you can see it right here this one all right this is it so we are now going to join this line so you can see this difference here hmm? So if I had joined this trouser or before folding, before before um, hemming it, it would want to squeeze it because the, the, the longer it goes down, the smaller it becomes. So it's easier for you to, I don't know if you understand, but it's easier for you to hem it before sewing this inline, okay? So now we'll sew the inline. So before you sew, you make sure you check what wideness are you giving the trouser down here. So we're giving it the wideness of, wideness of four and a quarter all right four and a quarter so we'll sew it on half inch 
Alarms. So we we'll show and stop somewhere here. We we'll turn and sew the other side as well, and then we we'll come and join to that point there. This other side we we'll still sew it. Mind you, our allowance is half inch allowance. So we we'll still keep it on half inch, and we we'll sew, we'll stitch it. All right. So we'll see. So this at the center point here, make sure you open this allowance. Don't allow them to lie one side, let them be very flat. Open this allowance here. You see? So you match it. And then you join to this line where you stopped before. And with this, you are almost done. So we can see that we are done with our trousy. All right, let's turn it out and see how it's looking. So we can see how our trouser is looking. So fine. All right, so if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button and um, share. I would really, really, really appreciate. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Welcome to Not Fashion Hub, the best fashion channel in the world. Thank you.